Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll look on the cameras and uh, specifically on the render, how we can render. So I notice um, when you work, for example, in Unity, and in Unity, we have Skybox that is require six sides to render. So as example, if we're going to um, so it's creating and we'll go to create material. So we'll go to select this material to um, skybox, six sided, for example. And you notice right here, we have it front, back, left, right, up and down. So we can render um, squares around our camera. So we can create it some VR environment or a sky environment. Um, it's have some other plugins, for example, like Panorama to Cube. And you can see right here, Example in this case, you can just render um, the two to one ratio um, image and it will create a spherical image. And you can just apply to this. So the script actually will take and uh, convert them to the cube map. But overall, what I want to do, look how we can create it in this in cube map inside the Turgeon. So right here, we have it a sample scenery and this is a great lake view from previous tutorials. If you purchase them, you can just download it. Um, but overall, right here, we have it some um, mountains, rocks. Um, we can switch to new um, ray trace preview. So you can see some plants right there around the water lakes. Okay, we can enable some materials, maybe lighting. So it will take just a little bit longer if we do this way. But overall, right here, we have it our scenery. And um, okay, let me disable so we can go a little bit faster. And we can actually look on a cameras how we can do. So if we want to create a spherical render for the uh, Unity or other ones, so all what we need to do inside the Turgeon 4, go inside the camera property, render camera, and enable spherical. So in this case, you'll notice when we render, we'll render um, spherical 360. However, inside the render, we want to be sure our image width and height, it will be two to one ratio. So if our width is 500, we want to have it, our height is 250. So when you're done with this, all what we need to do is just go ahead and click and render image. Okay, so right here you can see we render our 360 map. And again, because this is was set just for the front camera, the back one does not necessarily look very interesting, but overall you can see the idea of the render 360. So we can our spherical view inside the Unity if we have a special um, script to work panoramic to cubic adjustment. Okay, so however, if I want to render specifically um, six sides, let's look how we can do this. So for that, we actually need to create uh, six different cameras. So they will point on um, each side. Okay, we'll go inside the cameras and we're going to go ahead and add um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we add the six cameras right here. And each camera we need set specifically properties. So example, we can see the position and our other camera position. And because we created it, take our render camera position and apply it. So it's kind of nice to do this. If it does not, all what you can do, you can click, just copy coordinates, and you can go ahead and paste them inside your cameras. The what important it is, um, now let's say our uh, horizontal um, POV, um, and also will set some of our other positions. So I'm just going to set this to the 90 for now. And I want to be sure this is set all same for every camera. So if we go, okay, right here in this camera, okay, 90, I want to be sure all of my cameras have it exactly the same settings. And again, if you have it, um, just copy, oops, this should be exactly the same everywhere. Okay, and let's go just switch. Okay, next is very important. It is where the camera is rotation, where they're facing to. So, and we're going first with first camera and let's go actually camera one. We'll go set this to 180. 
So our position for this camera is 0, 180, 0. So we go to second camera and let's set this to 270. Okay, rotation on this camera. Our third camera will be 90. Okay, our fourth camera will be actually 9900. Uh, 90, zero, zero. Okay, and actually this one should be okay. So let's go again. 180. Okay, this one we have a 270. This one we have at 90. Okay, so right here we have it 90. Our fifth camera have um, minus 90. And our first one should be zero, zero, zero. Okay. So we have it our camera preset. Next we want to do is actually render them. To render, we need to go inside open properties for our rendering. And if for the spherical, we have a two to one ratio for the cubes, we actually need the cube size. So 500 by 500. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview. So we have it and right here. Let's go from camera one, we'll go to render, camera two. So you notice how we modify with changing, repointing our render and what's happening with this, we can go inside and let's just click to render preview our image. So I kind of repoint different camera and you can see it's render. So I'm going to um, pause trails, render all of these um, sides and we can see how we can assemble this after. Okay, so we done rendering and we can go to sets created material, switching to um, skybox, six sided. So, and we can add right in this area and it's kind of tell you front, back, left, right, up and down. So we can go and um, kind of select and add them here. So we just drag and drop and right here you can see I have render just uh, we can type top bottom right left for me it's just degree so just put it I kind of know which one is what okay and let's go back to our material can okay, we'll have select top one so up that one down one front okay we'll go with the zero zero okay and back will be 180 okay that one our left will be 270 and this one will be 90 if I'm right so right here we have a cube. And of course, if I create some mistake, we can change and we can readjust them. So just reselect it as we need it. And overall right here, so you kind of add all of this. Um, I probably will just switch left and right. I think it's what it was mistake. Okay. Anyway, so by adjusting this, we can creating properly out our box and this is actually it's all how you can create it and after in the games you will just assign and create nice render around your game and of course like I said before if you um, prefer to render 360 you can do same way and a resolution if you remember before it was 500 by 500 pixels you can create bigger same if you render um, stretch you can same increase more pixels so it will look a little bit better um, also if you look at a chart gen and as we mentioned VR um, when I work for example with the Vive VR they're using stereo and to render stereo it's actually as well easy and with 4.0 it's much easier to do this when you go in a um, camera settings all you need to do is go inside the stereo 
and just enable stereo and uh, what we want to central and we want to do parallel so the stereo mode on this one um, this is approximately 63 um, millimeters between your eyes so you can change depending on your vision but this is kind of if you leave as average it's what will be between two cameras the adjustment um, the one only problem with this when you render and I will do in other tutorials or just showing uh, actually it's a little bit harder to show but what's happening if you have an object very close and you render as a stereo um, in 360 so that you will be left and right eyes will look strange okay so what i was meaning if object is close enough we can see with our left and right eye we kind of can see this side so technically if we can take this object and start moving we should switch and see more like this object more on the left side and the uh, problem is when we render we don't render in 3d we don't actually work in this case when we render as image stereoscopic image so it's always will be this way and if you move object closer to the right side it's still rendering and showing this side for you for the left and right eye so this is can be a little bit problem and, and doesn't look real to overcome that problem you want to set about um 100 meters you don't want to have any object that you can see from both sides kind of start faking or make a rock small rocks um, or um, import if you do in a VR games make about 100 meters or plus render as stereoscopic so it's give it some little bit parallax far away but again on a closer you can create 3d models that will create this moving parallax effect and viewing so overall it's stereo will work more just for the straightforward view maybe just a little bit uh, moving left and right but not really for the 360 in this case okay so thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio and please remember visit us on a web is www.geekatplay.com